In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us uh, close our eyes and recollect all our sins, all our failures, and ask Jesus to forgive whatever we have done against him by word, by action. Ask Jesus to make us worthy to participate in this Holy Eucharist and make us worthy to receive his body into our hearts. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Kindly turn to page number 1048. A reading from the book of Mika, chapter 6, verses 1 to 4, 6 to 8. Hear what the Lord says, Rise, plead your case before, before the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, you mountains, the controversy of the Lord and you enduring foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a controversy with his people, and he will contend with Israel. O my people, what have I done to you? In what have I wearied you? Answer me. For I brought you up from the land of Egypt, and redeemed you from the house of slavery. And I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before God on high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calls and your world? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body, for the sin of my soul? He has told you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God? The word of the Lord. For our responsorial sum, kindly turn to page number 604, verses 5 to 6, 8 to 9, 16 to 17, 21 and 23rd. We shall pray together. Gather to me, O faithful ones, who made you a covenant with me by sacrifice, 
The heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. 8 to 9. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you. Your burnt offerings are continually before me. I will not accept a bull from your house or goats from your folds. 16 to 17. But to the wicked God says, What right have to deceit my statutes or take my covenant on your lips? For you hate discipline, and you cast my words behind you. 21. These things you have done, and I have been silent. You thought that I was one just like yourself. But now I rebuke you and lay the charge before you. 23. Those who bring thanksgiving as they sacrifice honor me, to those who go the right way, I will show the salvation of God. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, praise the Lord and say. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, praise the Lord and say. To the upright, I will show the power of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Chapter 12, verses from 38 to 42, page number 13. Then some of the scribes and Pharisees said to him, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. But he answered them, an evil and adulterous generation ask for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For just as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the sea monster, so for three days and three nights the Son of Man will be in the heart of the earth. The people of Nineveh will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it because they repented at the proclamation of Jonah and see something greater than Jonah is here. The queen of south will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it because she came from the ends of the earth to listen to the wisdom of Solomon and see something greater than Solomon is here. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in Jesus Christ, now just we have heard that Jesus is unwilling to do any miracle there. And straight away Jesus says, it will not be given. Because Jesus knows what they are. Because the scribes and Pharisees, they are in the seat of unbelief. Even any miracle cannot change them. We cannot change a stone into fire like charcoal. We cannot make a stone which, which cannot be changed into fire like, you know, red like charcoal. Jesus did miracles in the Bible 
to enhance their faith, to increase their faith, to make people to believe. And Jesus did first miracle, wedding at Cana. After the miracle, we find the last verse, and they believed. They saw that miracle and they believed. The disciples of Jesus believed. Last week we have heard when you know Jesus cast out a demon. And people were very much amazed. Even the demons could listen to him. And even the sea could listen to him. Even the strong wind could obey him. And then after that we see that verse. They were amazed and believed. And Jesus is unwilling to do any miracle before these scribes and Pharisees because they are in the seat of unbelief. We use these uh, specs to, in, to enhance our vision. If we keep the same spectacles or glasses before a blind man, it is no use. A man who is totally blind even if, even if you put a powerful you know, specs or glasses, it is no use. And Jesus is unwilling to do miracle before scribes and Pharisees because it is only for their passion. And Jesus doesn't want to use his power of miracles, not for passion. He did miracles in order to make people to believe. And secondly, my dear brothers and sisters, and Jesus himself is the greatest sign. If somebody comes and asks me, who is Father Sundar? I cannot show somebody else. I have to say, it is me. And that is what Jesus says there. I am, you know, I am the greatest I am greater than any prophet. I am greater than Jonah. I am greater than Moses. I you know, all this, you know, Jonah, Mo, Moses, and Isaiah, all these prophets did miracles. He is the greatest sign. He is the greatest miracle. I know he is the wisdom. That is what, you know, Jesus says. I am greater than Solomon. See. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, he did not do any miracle because he is the sign. Son of God coming into form of human being. What else is greater than this miracle? So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, today in this gospel passage, very clearly Jesus tells you and me, he is the greatest sign. And we have to see very every day clearly the wisdom of God. We have to see very clearly the sign of God through sacraments. We should not use the sacraments. We should not use any word of God or only for you know, convenience. They are given to us so that we may believe and believe and believe. Not for our convenience, they are given, my dear brothers and sisters. The apostles and the Acts of the Apostles, we see very clearly, they became sign, sign of Jesus. That is why there was a great number. Every day the number was increasing. We see that, you know, second chapter of the Acts of the Apostles, early Christians, how they lived. Because of their lives, because they become true witnesses. And they become sign of Jesus Christ. They become sign of God. That is why there was a great number. And today, my dear brothers and sisters, we are receiving every day the body of Christ. We are receiving sacraments. We are receiving the word of God every day. We should become sign of Jesus. And this is what Jesus wants to tell you and me. He's the greatest. And the greatest we are receiving. 
So therefore, at least we need to have the shades of greatest in our life. That is what Jesus wants to tell you and me. So therefore, today, let us not use anything that is given to us, not for our convenience, not for our passion. They are given to us to have, to increase our faith more and more. And then we should become sign of Jesus by receiving the sacraments. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept we pray this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you blessed the the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of our sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have well as worth it to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Balar Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Especially Rajaya Annamma, Michael Christopher, and Nancy, have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co ahead eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, Anatha as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. The peace of our Lord Jesus be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Say to those who are fearful, we have do not be afraid. The Lord you got is strong, where there's mighty young. Who will call on his name? He will come and say, He will come and say. The Lord, the gracious, the merciful, has made a memorial of his wonders. He gives food to those who fear him. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to new lives of life. Through Christ our Lord. Can we sit for the prayer? Let us recite together. Lord Jesus Christ, you have taught us to be merciful like the Heavenly Father, and have told us that whoever sees you, sees him. Show us your face, and we will be saved. Your loving gaze feed Jacobus and Matthew from being enslaved by money, the adulteress and Magdalene from seeking happiness only in created things, made Peter weep after his betrayal, and assured paradise to the repentant thief. Let us hear as if addressed to each one of us the words that you spoke to the Samaritan woman if you knew the gift of God. You are the visible face of the invisible Father, of the God who manifests his power 
above all by forgiveness and mercy. Let the church be your visible face in the world, its Lord risen and glorified. You will that your ministers would also be clothed in weakness, in order that they may feel compassion for those in ignorance and error. Let everyone who approaches them feel sought after, loved and forgiven by God. Send your spirit and consecrate every one of us with its anointing so that the jubilee of mercy may be air of grace from the Lord and your church with renewed enthusiasm may bring good news to the poor, proclaim liberty to captives, the oppressed, restore sight to the blind. We ask this through the intercession of Mary, Mother of Mercy, you will live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Kindly stand for the final blessing. The Lord is with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Please take hymn number 237. Page number 237 on hymn number 427. When I find myself in times